NASA chiefs say that they hope to launch Artemis 1, its rocket, later this week after yesterday's blast off was postponed. The unmanned flights will orbit the moon in preparation for putting human beings on the lunar surface for the first time in 50 years. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, has been following developments at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The moment the Artemis launch was canceled. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. The problem, one of the rocket's engines Again. wasn't cooling launch properly and there was no way it could safely lift off. This is a brand new rocket. It's not going to fly until it's ready. There are millions of components of this rocket and its systems. Uh, and uh, needless to say, the complexity uh, is daunting when you bring it all into the focus of a countdown. They came so close. The countdown stopping at T minus 40 minutes. There were just too many technical problems to contend with. You have to remember though, that this is a new rocket. It hasn't really been put through its paces. So it's no surprise the engineers were being extra cautious. The plan is for the rocket to push a capsule called Orion into orbit around the moon before it returns to Earth with a splashdown. If the maiden flight is a success, the next time astronauts will come along for the ride. But they're not surprised by the delays. This is the uh, first time we've taken the count anywhere close to zero. We've done tests to uh, put propellant in the tanks, but we haven't tried to take it all the way to flight yet. So um, there are many, many opportunities for new things to crop up. This is a test flight. We're doing the test. Uh, we won't go till we're ready, but I really hope we're ready. Data from the rocket is now being poured over to find out exactly what went wrong. A complicated problem could set a launch back by weeks or even months. But there's hope an easier fix might be found, which would mean a delay of just a few days. We're going to do our best to um, see, see where the data leads us. And, and if we can resolve this operationally out at the pad, there won't be any need for that. And, and if we can resolve this operationally out at the pad in the next 48 hours, 72 hours, Friday is definitely in play. One thing's for certain, the Artemis team wants this rocket to fly. The only question is, when? Rebecca Morrell, BBC News at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.